Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. Um, today we're in the car. We are sitting outside of Office Depot because we have to get a copy of Baby James's birth certificate to be able to fly because he's a lap child. We need to verify that he's not over two. Um, they never ask us for the birth certificate, but we always like to have it just in case um, we are considering going to the park we need to run to Walmart and grab a few things um, pretty much we are just preparing to go to Florida we are packing we're excited to go have a little bit of a trip and see family um, so I'm just gonna have you guys come along on kind of like what we're packing what we're bringing just preparing to go to Florida. I hope you guys are doing well. I just ate some chocolate covered espresso beans, so I feel like, woo! I got lots of energy all of a sudden. That guy looks like he's about to hit us with his truck. If you're new here, I'm Marissa, I'm a mom of two. Eliana back there is three. And baby James, which he's next to her. Where you at, baby James? <gasps> Hi! He is one and a half, and I just make lifestyle and wellness and motherhood related content. Um, I like to do a lot of daily vlogs, I just think it's fun. And I, I've said this a million times, but I love just looking back and having seen these memories. Um, it's really special to me. If you are new here, we would love to have you as a subscriber. Also, go ahead and follow us over on Instagram. It's um, Marissa and Nicholas. I will leave it in the description. Oh, I haven't really talked about this here before. So I have an Instagram that I do for, it's just like Bible verses and just, um, just like biblical, I guess, biblical encouragement. Um, where I share a lot of like faith based stuff and if you would like to follow that I will also link it below it's called she found purpose um so yeah I'm not really entirely sure what we're gonna end up doing here but we'll take you guys along so you can see how it's going oh you don't like it yeah. I <laughs> it's right there. Where did you put it? I don't see it. It's right there. Stop there. Stop. James, stop. I don't see it. just woke up I can't even believe this baby James is still sleeping this is like unheard of guys I don't even know what to do with myself I'm usually ready to go get them in their room by like 7 45 8 and I checked on both of their cameras and they were still sleeping what the heck so hopefully they take a nap today I feel like they're not gonna have any like needed sleep today is Monday now um, I think the last time we were vlogging was Saturday and honestly we just had a really lazy day yesterday. I ended up finishing 
all of the laundry that I need to finish. I have most of our clothes packed. I think James has to pack some things. But today, I'm just I'm just gonna kind of go through and show you what we're packing, um, show you the activities that we're bringing, the snacks we're bringing. Because there's a few things today to kind of check off the list, but I'm breaking out like in random places. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm secretly stressed about flying on an airplane. You can see that <laughs> my house is a little crazy back there. Um, that's another big thing. There's probably gonna be some cleaning motivation in this video because I need to clean. I don't wanna come home to a messy house. Um, it's just a little cluttered right now just from packing and stuff. Ellie made an absolute disaster of her room. So <laughs> that needs to be cleaned and I wanna vacuum like around the house. So anyways, <laughs> this vlog is kind of random, kind of all over the place, but if you're here for it, thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make James some coffee. I'm still in my pajamas and in these big granny shorts. And I'm gonna start making breakfast for the kids. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna make them yet. currently in Ellie's room it's an absolute disaster in here and she begs me to not clean it but we're gonna clean it because we are leaving we are not leaving our house a mess um, yes I've realized that this might get messed up again today but I think ultimately like getting this place tidy is gonna make a huge difference and if she does pull toys out it's probably not gonna get to this level this is after like three days of her just like begging me in this cycle of like wanting her room to be messy but I have a lot I want to accomplish I know I know I said like I didn't think this day was going to be too busy but I'm going to clean this room I'm going to clean Ellie's room I'm going to straighten up baby James's room his room doesn't get too messy um I'm going to go into our master bedroom and straighten up and I also want to clean the toilets in the bathroom and like spruce up the bathrooms really this is not a deep clean this is just like a tidying up so i hope you guys get some cleaning motivation from my extremely gross house right now okay i also forgot to say i did change my clothes i look like it's the middle of winter but i was freezing in my house and honestly i packed like most of like my shorts and dresses and stuff i packed like all the the ones that I wear the most. So they're in my suitcase and I don't wanna get anything else dirty and have to wash clothes, that would not be fun. So I just threw on some jeans and a tank top and some socks and a sweater because I was freezing.
accomplished a lot of what I wanted to accomplish, so I'm happy. Um, the living room is still a little bit messy, but I will probably get to that after I put baby James to sleep, just because there's no point. Um, there are, they're over here. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Um, he's eating one of the pancakes from breakfast. It's actually like 12. It's 12.06 right now. So we're probably gonna, probably gonna, um, make lunch actually here soon. It's crazy. I can't believe that much time has gone by. Um, yeah, it got a little challenging. The kids definitely were like coming in when I was cleaning, which I'm fine with. I wanted to take them outside this morning, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be an after nap thing that we do. Son, your hands are dirty and you're putting them on the chair. Constantly cleaning. You're dirty, you're eating a pancake. What are you eating? A pancake. Can you say pancake? Yeah. Say pancake. So black. I think I'm gonna actually make myself a smoothie now because I didn't ever make my smoothie and I feel like I just need it to like give me some energy right now. Maybe it's hot. Yeah? Well, yeah. You got anything to say, Luna? Good morning, it's a stocky cat. Uh <laughs> So really quick, I just want to show you guys what I got for our trip for as far as snacks go, as far as activities go, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Right here, I have, this is Eliana's stuff. I am trying to be as minimal as possible. I know when I show you guys all the activities I got, it's not going to seem like it. Um, but I'm also thinking too, like... We are going to stay with James's parents and I don't expect them to have a plethora of toys just sitting around. So I do want to be mindful of like little activities and things that she can, that Ellie and baby James can play with when we get to Florida. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to start with snacks. I have, hang on, this is loud. I have snacks in here for us. For me and my husband James, I also have snacks in here for the kids. Um, I realized <laughs> that I got a lot of like sugar, more sugary things, um, but we were not gonna like do this all at once. This is also like a stash for me to have as we're traveling, you know, because there's gonna be moments where we're gonna be busy, we're gonna be doing lots of things, and I do want to make sure that we don't have to immediately run to the store as soon as we get to Florida. Anyways, I'm going on a tangent. I need to stop. Let's just show you what we got here. We got some Bobos. These are stuffed. They have strawberry jelly in the middle and it's just like an oatmeal bite. So I was thinking tomorrow we have to leave our house at 4.30 a.m. I believe. So they are not gonna eat breakfast here. We're just gonna take some breakfast to go. I think I'm just gonna make some hard boiled eggs for them and bring it with us. Usually they're actually pretty good about eating that um, in the car without making a super mess. I know that sounds crazy, but they're pretty good about that. So we have these too. If they need a little bit more like protein and substance for breakfast, these are a treat and these are going to be used very sparingly if there's moments where where they're gonna lose it <laughs> or if you know there's just moments where it's like okay I don't know if I'm ready to let you have full emotions right here in the middle of like the security line I just got these organic fruit snacks um, I found these at my local discount grocery store. I normally would not go for these because they do have a lot more sugar than most fruit snacks, um, but it's a better option. So I went with it. Um, I have cauliflower stars. These are good. 
they're not like there's no sugar in here so that's good um this i'm just gonna take two baggies and just fill them with cheese stars and then if we have leftovers i'm just gonna leave the box here because i don't want to be bringing a box of things that can spill that's just not gonna happen the next thing i got was these skinny dipped almonds they're the chocolate dark chocolate raspberry flavor you can see that it's just a thin coating of like chocolate and uh and raspberry kind of dusted on the outside but yeah those are my treat i'm super excited about those um i also grabbed these bars for me and james they're these texas maple pecan it's this brand called thunderbird dates himalayan sea salt maple extract and cinnamon super simple i also grabbed these for the kids these fruit strips um these it's gonna be either this or fruit snacks because these have a good amount of sugar in them so something i love recently is like my favorite thing is these coffee lovers espresso beans they're chocolate covered espresso beans from trader joe's these are not healthy mm -mm. these are not healthy for a second but they're so good and i don't really drink coffee because it kind of i said this in my previous video coffee kind of hurts my tummy but i can have these espresso beans and it doesn't bother me so much so yeah that's the last snack that i have in here i feel like there was a couple more things but this is probably enough this is enough stuff i probably went over i always go overboard on these things and it's okay Moving on to activities that we're bringing. So the first thing that I grabbed were these play packs. These are great because they are so simple. It's just like a cool like thing to open for the kids. It comes with crayons, stickers, and a little coloring book. And they're, they're always like a dollar. So if we lose the crayons, if we lose the coloring book, I'm not concerned about it. Um, I grabbed this for baby James at TJ Maxx. It was $3.99. It's just like one of those like magna doodles things. I was trying to think of things to get him that would kind of occupy him because he's a funny little boy. I'm a little bit concerned about how he's going to do. Um, but overall, I think he's going to do a good job. We um, were prepared. So the next thing I got were these two sticker books. I think they were a dollar each at Michael's. I just got this sweet life. Ellie loves stuff like this, so it's just got like popsicles and little fruit and watermelon and rainbows. She's gonna love these um, to play with. I so I also grabbed this just this composition book. I got this at Walmart. I think it was fifty cents because. All the school supply stuff is already being put out. Um, so yeah, and she she really liked the fact that it had letters on it and we can talk about the letters and stuff. I got this so that, so that they can put stickers in it and then they can color in it. We also grabbed these crayons. These crayons were 25 cents at Walmart. Hey, my video randomly cut off. Maybe there's a time limit, I don't know. We got 25 cent crayons. I can't really elaborate on Baby James's stickers. They're just dinosaur, dinosaur stickers. Um, he just really likes dinosaurs. He always points out dinosaurs. He really just likes animals right now. Horses, cows, all the animals he loves to play with. This, I'm excited for this. I found this at Michael's. Um, it is a hidden pictures puffy sticker play scene. So basically, she loves these look and find books, which we actually have a couple. We have a frozen look and find book that I'm probably gonna bring with us too. Um, but yeah, it just has these little things that you can find. And then there's an activity at the bottom. And the stickers, you can also find like the stickers on the pages and put the stickers on them. So this is really cool. I was glad to find that. Um, I also got this for both of them to use. I picked this up at TJ Maxx, it was $3.99. Um, she was looking at one of these at Target and it was like $12. I'm not even kidding you and it was 
pretty much the same thing. So I was happy to find this at TJ Maxx. I wasn't about to pay $12 for it. So yeah, basically it comes with this magic marker and when you color it, like all the different colors. I just grabbed these two more sticker books. We are not gonna go through all these stickers. We're probably gonna find them all over the place. You know how this really goes. There's some mini stickers and some Mario stickers. Recently, Jay, or recently Ellie has been playing Mario with James and she loves it. So she'll be super excited for this. And believe it or not, baby James loves Minnie. He, we have a little figurine of Minnie and he loves it. He just grabs it all the time and he's like, Minnie, Minnie. And he chases me around the house with his little Minnie. This is kind of a tradition that I've started. I got Ellie this little like squishy ball. I can kind of, it's called sw swirl knee dough. Um, last year I got her a little squishy toy and she loved it. So I got her this one this time you squeeze it. And it's like really cool. It looks like there's like shaving cream in there. Um, but yeah, this is super fun, uh, super random, but because I got her something like this last year, I decided, you know what, it'll be fun. And these are the kind of things that don't really last very long and I'm okay with like, you know, if it gets lost, if it, you know, the only thing I'm concerned about is it getting a hole because I have no idea what is inside of this thing and do not want my children trying to ingest this because who knows what this is even made out of. So that was everything I think. Oh, um, last thing. There's one more thing. So this is just my old iPhone. I use this right now as a baby monitor for baby James. Um, we have like cameras in our house that I can connect to this. So we obviously won't be needing that when we go to Florida. So what I normally do is Ellie does not have a tablet. I'm not feeling like I'm ready for her to have a tablet yet. Um, so she uses this. She gets this when only when we go on vacation. Um, so she is gonna have all kinds of movies and um, there's some games on here and there's also um, just a bunch of like shows that she likes which I have to probably re-download I think last time we traveled we didn't have Disney plus so we'll probably put like frozen on there and all those kinds of things anyways I feel like I've done a lot of talking and I'm sorry for that but you know what I like videos like this so it sounds like my children are awake so I'm probably gonna go get them I think at this point it looks nice out. It looks like it's cloudy, but it's not like rainy cloudy. So we're probably gonna go outside. I'm probably just gonna let them get some energy out and we're gonna have an early night tonight. Yes, this is gonna go up after we've already left for Florida, but I am super curious to know what is your must have to bring on the plane or bring in the car for your toddler when you're traveling. So thanks for listening to me chat guys. I feel like secretly this is therapeutic for me because I feel like I'm talking to another adult, which I'm not, but you guys are the best. Thank you for being here. Well, hello. The time clearly got away from me and I like totally forgot I was even vlogging. This day has been a little crazy, very crazy. Um, but you know what? We're super excited to change things up and see family and i've probably said that a hundred times throughout this video but you know what we're freaking pumped so anyways um this is me just ending this video you know kind of abrupt kind of random video today but at least i was able to show you guys what we're bringing hopefully it can help you in future travels with your kids um, thank you so much for being here. It is currently like 10 o'clock at night and I definitely have more packing to do and we have to get out of here pretty early tomorrow. <laughs> so within a short amount of hours, we will have to be awake and leaving. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, a great night, wherever you are. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.